Look at the United States. We have one of the largest economies in the world, yet we don't rank in the top 10 of education systems. Why is that? It's because we're failing to realize that we have those opportunities outside. Take Finland and Japan, for example. Consistently two countries with completely different cultures that are always ranking at the top. They found this beautiful balance between the amount of time that a child spends in the classroom and then taking what they're learning and actively applying it to real life situations where they're out doing extracurricular activities and going just experiencing life. And we feel that that's a challenge and there's kind of that void here in the United States. So people say, oh, it's our school systems, they're failing, our teachers aren't doing what they need to. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case because I deal with principals and teachers on a daily basis and I see all the hard work that, that goes into their job. They're consistently working beyond hours to work on their lesson plans, to grade papers. And so they're working really hard and they're doing a really good job. So it's not so much the school system that's failing, but rather the lack of opportunity for our children to take what they're learning and actively apply it to those real life situations. So here at the Soccer Unity Project, we're not here to complain about what's wrong. We're here to do something about it. We feel that if we can get them involved and learn through trial and error and experiencing these real life situations, that it's going to give them the skill sets that they need to be successful on taking on the challenges of tomorrow. So we have this crazy idea. We want to take the world's most popular sport and use it as a vehicle to take our children and put them in situations where they're going to learn through experience. Here at the Soccer Unity Project, we're unique in that we're not only an organization for kids, but we also plan to be run by kids. And what we mean by that is, we wanna put our children in the driver's seat of creating the experience that they wanna be part of and then that can truly enjoy. So the way that we're doing this is we've implemented two key programs into the Soccer Unity Project. The first being our SUP Leadership Program. And how this works is we take our kids and we put them through a curriculum where they're going through business 101, marketing 101, cost analysis, budget, interpersonal skills, leadership styles, all these skill sets that they can really use. However, we take it and then we instantly put them into action. We actually take these kids and give them the opportunity to run their own business. So here at the Soccer Community Project, we have known a sub shop where they sell snacks and healthy drinks. And basically, the shop is run autonomously by the kids. My name is Erin, I am 12 years old, and I run the sub shop. It has taught me a lot about businesses and how to run a business. Interesting, there's a statistic out that 60% of graduate students, or students who have graduated um, from university, have not held a job. That's astounding to me, that this is the, what we're looking at nowadays. Here is a 12-year-old who's already developing these skills. By the time he gets to be 16, 17, 18, 20, you know, he's ready to go. He's already hit the ground running. And the second program that we've put into place is our community engagement program. And this is something I'm very passionate about because what we're doing is we're creating community service opportunities for these kids. Whether it's from getting them to write letters to our troops, to feeding the homeless, to going to a skilled nursing facility and entertaining the senior citizens. These are all experiences that they're getting at such a young age where they get to develop true empathy and want to develop that need to want to give back and create good change for our world. So here's our challenge. The demand for our program is rapidly growing, but with growth comes expenses. We have the need to buy new equipment for our kids to build the infrastructure of our business to make it truly sustainable and to offer scholarships so that all socioeconomic levels can access our program. With that being said, if this is something that you believe in, if you believe through experience-based learning and the sport of soccer, then please consider giving to our cause. Thank you so much and we welcome you to the Soccer Union Project family. Yeah.